Welcome back to the Airgun Advisor. And today, well, today we're going to be exploring the new kid on the block, McCavity Arms, and their prototype airgun, the Agility MA2 in 22 caliber. The Airgun Advisor is brought to you today by Airguns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier airgun shop, Airgun Titans, Rapid Airworks, the makers of raw airguns, and the Cavity Arms. You'll find links to these and more in the description down below. Today we'll be checking out this McCavity air gun, looking at the available options, some performance, simple tuning procedures, and giving you an update as to what we can expect when the production run of this air gun comes out here in a few months, hopefully, because, well, it is a prototype air gun and the production run is going to have some nice changes. So stick around to the end of the video and I will be sharing those with you right then and there. So first and foremost, the agility. It's going to come out in a variety of calibers, including 177, 22, 25, and 30, as well as two different lengths. This is the long version and it comes with a barrel that is 22 inches in length. The shorter version, comes in at four inches shorter at 18 inches in length. Now, speaking about barrels, you guys are all wondering what kind of barrel and so forth. Well, the McCavity Arms has selected a choked barrel, so it's great for pellets. I've seen some videos with some uh, slugs as well. It's shrouded, it has a threaded muzzle with one half by 20 threads at the end, and it does come with an included moderator. So that is a really nice feature that not many air guns today are coming out with. So uh, can't beat that. I did find though in the sample that I have here in front of me, it shot best when it was unmoderated. So something to keep in mind, the one we have in the studio, like I mentioned, is the long version and it is in 22 caliber. Let's look at some of the functionality that we have. We have AR-15 furniture and I have to say, I absolutely love the grip. It's a rubberized grip here as well as having Picatinny rails up top for a scope and pick rails down at the bottom for accessories. It does have an adjustable shoulder stock down here. I did find it to be just a little bit wobbly, but again, this is the prototype version. It is a side lever, which the side lever, where is that here? Super smooth, I love that. In the package, you've got three rotary magazines that you'll be able to spend a ton of time sitting at the bench slinging lead without filling up magazines between each round. So that's kind of nice. I love other manufacturers to do that and hopefully other manufacturers are taking note. A couple of quick things though. This is also a regulated air gun. The regulator is adjustable, but you're going to have to disassemble the air gun to get to it. And the pick rail up here for the accessories. Well, you can see I have a bipod on it, but I will mention it is just a little bit wobbly because the bipod is attached to the rubber stock and that pick rail is mounted or I should say molded right into that stock. So it's going to be okay for plinking, just hanging out, having a good time. But if you're looking for precision shooting, well, you're probably going to need a different method of supporting the air gun. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the agility is completely adjustable, does come with a regulator inside that we can adjust does have a hammer spring back here that we can adjust. And this is one point where I might like to see some changes in the future, but we'll be touching on that here at the very end of the video. And I will let you know that for this video, I did have to do a little bit of adjustment on that hammer spring in the back. Let's talk about the trigger. Now I was pretty happy with this trigger. It's a two stage adjustable trigger. Coming out of the package though, I was not thrilled with it. I did do a little bit of tuning on that trigger just using the grub screws that are in here. So no sanding, no polishing, et cetera. And I was able to get this down to an average pull weight of 15.17 ounces on five trials. I think with a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of work on your part, if you were to pick up this air gun, I imagine we could improve on this slightly, especially for those who have some experience in the air gun world. Now, filling up this air gun is super simple and I love it as they have added a quick disconnect here at the end. Hooray for no fill probes. You guys have probably heard me say it enough. Don't love the fill probe and I'm glad they got rid of it. Also, this is uh, the cylinder here is only 267 cc's. The short version is 196 cc's. 
great for using those smaller compressors that we're seeing all over the internet these days. Not gonna overheat that pump. So great option there for you new air gunners. And look at what they did. They put the gauge on the side of the air gun so you can watch safely without having the muzzle pointed at your face to see what the gauge is and you don't have to turn the air gun over. Again, it's right here on the side. Absolutely love that. A lot of great features in this air gun, but let's get down to some additional testings just beyond the trigger. So chronograph data. Chronograph data, you're gonna be able to see the graph right over here. And again, this is the long version and 22 caliber. So you're gonna get different data based on the caliber of the air gun. But in 22 caliber, I was able to get 95 shots out of this little tube right here. And if you're looking over those 95 shots, you're gonna notice that there is an average velocity of 916 feet per second. Standard deviation well under 10, coming in at 5.9 feet per second. And that's not shabby at all, especially for an air gun that, wait a minute, that's right, it's gonna come in at under $500, supposedly. Hey, keep talking, McCavity. I like what I'm seeing. Hey, enough talk though from here. Let's take this air gun out to the bench and see what it can do on paper at none other than 50 yards. On, and I'm gonna look through here. I started out on this top group up here today. Kind of worked my way down with some different pellets. These were, so up here is the 15 grain JSB. A decent little group. Coming down, we got the 18 grain JSB. Tried some 21 and 22 grain uh, JTS pellets down here. Oh, where is that? There it is, JT. So I tried some 21 and 22 grain JTS pellets. Came over here. This is where I adjusted the hammer spring. I lessened the hammer spring just a little bit. And these are the 18 grains. So here's the 18 grain and then I put in the 15 grain again and look at that that's an entire magazine an entire magazine worth of shots right there it's 11 shot group at 50 yards now i'd say that's pretty dang good especially at a sub 500 dollars air gun so now i got all the cameras set up so let's see if we can actually do this on camera for you all right 50 yards i'm going to shoot one this gun's been sitting here for about 30 minutes because i got the cameras rolling now remember, my point of impact is going to be different than my point of aim. That's okay. And you see, that's pretty consistent with that group over there. So it looks like it's holding zero. Now I've got a cord over here dealing with my camera and so forth. So a little bit more uncomfortable. But let's see what we can do for a 10-shot ten, ten group. We'll start with five and see where we go. How about that? Not bad at all, two pellet on pellet. I think I moved just a little bit. Ooh, pulled that. Let's see if we can get it all back lined up. Oh, you know what it is? I think there's a little breeze, maybe. Ooh, a little flyer. Yeah, that was it. So there you go. You got the 10 shot group right there. We have two flyers out of that. Really, 
I'm pretty impressed. Let's go down there so you can get a closer look exactly what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gun on safe. And we're gonna walk this camera straight on down there. Now, like I said, what did I do to this air gun to get it to change, right? Because I'm using the same pellets, same distance, same gun. So what did I do? I cleaned the barrel. And like I said, this is dirty, dirty, dirty barrel. And then I put a light polish on it. So probably about 50 strokes of uh, some light polish in there inside the barrel. And then I cleaned it again. And I noticed that the barrel remained pretty dirty, but we cleaned it remounted it and adjusted the hammer spring. I lessened the tension. I think it's shooting now about 870 feet per second. So let's go ahead and flip this around and we can kind of take a look. So again, this is where I started out. Over here. I should start at the top and work my way down. Came over here, started adjusting the hammer spring. Not bad. I mean, that's a little bigger than my thumb. Came out over here, the eight, or excuse me, the 15 grain pellets now. And then that last group that you saw, this is uh, almost an entire magazine. Everything right in there, except for these two flyers. That, my friends, is a really, really nice group. I'll tell you what, not too bad down at the range. Now I mentioned earlier, that there will be some updates on the production version of the McCavity Agility MA2 air gun they have here. So what are those updates? Well, it should be stated that first and foremost, it's pretty dang cool that McCavity is looking towards us reviewers to help them make their platform stand out from the crowd and taking our advice too. What are the two biggest changes? The two biggest changes that they definitely want you to know about, supposedly they're coming out with an externally adjustable regulator, so you don't have to take any of this apart to get to it. And the hammer spring, well, you saw I had to take it out of the stock and adjust it, but hopefully they say that this new hammer spring in the production run, it's gonna be a lot easier to adjust without having to take it all out of the stock. And if they get those two selling points worked out, Man, we're going to have a very nice entry level air gun by McCavity Arms. Well, overall, that's the air gun in a nutshell. What do you think? Is this going to be a winner? Put your thoughts and your comments down below. I want to hear what you guys think back home. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you next time right here on the Air Gun Advisor.